All right. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. And uh, welcome to the Scriptorium webcast on editing data with the Oxygen XML editor. Uh, my name is Simon Bate. I'll be your presenter today. So just to start out, we have a few uh, notes and housekeeping issues. First off, this is the webcast equivalent of all who aren't present. Please raise your hand. Um, the thing is, some people may not be able to hear me. If you can't, then you may notice this flashing or tilting or whatever. So um, if you can't hear me, please check your settings. Um, please note that all, all of you are muted right now. Um, if you have a question, there is a questions tab on the GoToWebinar dialog, and you can ask your questions there. I will try to uh, make an effort to get to those at the end of the webcast if there's time. Um, but uh, even if I don't get to those questions, I'll um, still be able to uh, um, answer them offline and uh, send replies out later. The webcast is being recorded. Um, your participant information doesn't appear in the recording, and so your privacy is guarded. And finally, um, the Q&A session at the end will not be recorded either. Just a couple of words about Scriptorium. Scriptorium, as the slide here says, provides expert advice on publishing technical content. So to help people help companies solve their problems, we provide an analysis of your problem. Uh, we will then uh, implement a solution. If necessary, we will apply the solution, and uh, we're quite happy to do that on site if you need. We also provide training in the tools used to implement the solution, as well as uh, any training that might be necessary for the solution. Uh, the people at Scriptorium are all very competent, technical, and we're really friendly. And an important thing to note is that Scriptorium is not a reseller of any um, software, so that allows us to remain vendor neutral. Our main point, our main emphasis is to provide the right solution to the customer. A little bit about me. Um, here's, you see my smiling mug. Uh, I've spent about 30 years in technical publications. I like to say 10 years as a writer, 10 years as a manager, and then 10 plus years as a, a toolsmith. I am an acknowledged tools geek. I have a card and it says it. Um, I'm also a toolsmith. I do a lot of programming and scripting. Um, I'm also a certified technical trainer. I provide, I present a lot of the Scriptorium online classes, uh, FrameMaker, uh, XSL, a number of other ones. And I and the rest of my Scriptorium cohort are based in the Research Triangle of North Carolina. Now, before we go any further, I'd like to do a couple of polls here. And let me launch the poll and then start trying to speak through it. So the first poll is, um, and you should see it there in your dialog, um, I'd like to know what your stage of DITA adoption is. So um, have you just heard about DITA? Are you really interested in it? Are you considering using DITA? Are you planning, currently planning your DITA implementation? Are you currently implementing DITA? Or are you actually using it in production? So I'll, um, I'll give you all a chance to, to vote and respond. <laughs> All right. Now let me just do something here. And uh, I'm going to just put these numbers into the slide quickly so that uh, um, we can actually see it on screen when we play this back, if you play the recording. The recording of this presentation will be available for you to view later if you want. Um, oh, time to close the poll. OK, everybody voted. Who wants to vote? So I'm closing the poll. And um, let me put my save my slide and put it back up on screen. So rather interesting figures. So we have um, a, a good spread here. We have, oh, I've got to click the share results. I think that'll actually appear on your screen. So we had about 22% um, of you have 
heard about DITA, you're just interested. Um, 36, finally, the final tally, actually 37% are just considering using DITA. They're 18% that are planning an implementation. 5% are currently involved in that, and then 18% um, are using DITA in production. So that's good to know. All right. My second poll, only two polls, second of the two polls is, what is your interest in oxygen? And uh, let me get this started. OK, there we go. So um, what is your interest in using oxygen? Um, are you just curious about what the oxygen XML editor is? Are you looking for a data aware editor? And you're just sort of um, weighing this against the others. Um, what if you're editing data, but you're not currently using the oxygen editor, but you're not quite happy with what you're using, and so you're, you're shopping around? And finally, are you already using oxygen? And I will take that down for a minute and let you all vote. 91% have voted. So just a little bit more. Almost everybody has an opinion about this one. Okay, I'm just going to let it go to a full minute for the remaining 4% of you. 7%. All right, that must mean some more people showed up. So let's look at the results. So here, how many are just curious about oxygen? We have 35% um, curious, just curious. And 28% uh, are looking for an editor. Uh, interestingly, only 2% are actually um, looking for an alternative. Um, so that must mean that if you're editing already using some editor, you must be fairly happy with that solution. And then uh, the 35% of you are already using oxygen. So you're just looking for hints and uh, things that might help you do it better. All right, well, that's good. Now let me hide the results and put my slide back on the screen. And then let's get underway. So in the rest of this uh, presentation, my goal is to um, talk about the Oxygen user interface. Um, we'll talk about how to manipulate the data elements using it. Um, we'll look at tables, inserting graphics, working in cross-references, creating CONREFs, uh, a bit on working with data maps, generating output, and then using conditions, because using conditions is really tied up with the output. Oxygen itself, uh, if you didn't know, um, is created and sold by Synchrosoft. They're a, a friendly bunch of people, and uh, the Oxygen website is here at uh, www.oxygenxml.com. Oxygen is a Java-based editor. And there's a real strong advantage in being a Java-based editor in that Oxygen will run on Windows, Macintosh, Linux, and there's also an Eclipse plugin that allows you to, um, to run it. Uh, Oxygen began life essentially as an XML editor. It has um, increased its functionality, uh, spread out to um, uh, editing more and more types of XML-related documents. And so in addition to editing DITA, um, it, we also can use Oxygen 